So I've received great feedback on the last video, which is about not consuming the news. So let's continue. More happy news. I have actually gotten, so I've kind of been hinting in my videos, like, pick me to certain people. And there were four people that I've gone like, pick me to for writing a biography. So being their biographer. So like Emma McKeon, it's a done deal. We're sealed for life. She she took me on as a contractually as a, I'm her biographer for life. So like, as long as she's alive, I get to write about her. And uh, like, if she dies before me, I get to write it before her. But like, if I die before her, well, let's be honest, it's a biography and that's like an insurmountable, it's a very daunting thing. Um, and I have not written like a 500 page book about somebody's life. So there's a bit of, just because I'm a biographer doesn't like, I mean, if we're going to play devil's advocate here, just because I'm a biographer doesn't mean a book comes out, right? There's, <laughs> so, okay. Um, uh, but I have met her. Uh, she's a wonderful human being. I have met her fiance, the New Zealand uh, Kiwi lawyer that um, that she started dating in 2010 and they're now engaged. Yeah, she said it was okay that I put this in the video. Um, she called, yeah, after the video. She was so happy with it. Uh, my last video about not consuming the news. Um, she'd been in a pretty negative mental health space from all the uh, false fake news that had been published about her, all the libels and and stuff like that and she was happy I was and I did that on my own initiative it wasn't actually about the biograph biography biographer contract it was about she's my friend and that would suck to be in her position um having people do that so I'm gonna stand up for my friend so I did um but yeah also I got her biography so I actually have more updates more happy news <laughs> I got Yulia Efimova's biography we're working on figuring out the spelling and like americans especially struggle with russian the russian alphabet and getting russian names right so we're like how do we do this um so that people can understand it and do we and devote an entire chapter of the book to this is how to spell the name don't misapply russian principles or naming thing dogmas that one thinks is true but is actually erroneous in her case to her there's a Names don't follow. They're, like in languages, there are ir irregular verbs. Names are irregular by nature. So to have some, oh, all Russian names apply this and the Romanized version of, is this, that's blanketly wrong. That's not how names work. But, you know, Americans can get all giddy and stuck in their pathological dogmas. So, as, as a long, it's a long journey. But good news, happy news, I got her biography. Um, need this. I've met all these people by now. Uh, there's a physical component to getting a person's biography. I <laughs> um, got Sarah Stjostrom's biography. Woo woo! Uh, I was born in Norway. She was born in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oof da. We're both Scandinavian. Um, and I have like, I'm old, old Norse. No, I'm before the old Norse, but like North. But so this is like a regional pride thing. Like, I got a Swede. Okay, um, <laughs> more regional pricing. So, might have been born in Norway, but like two days after I was born, I came here. So, I, so that's why in the past videos I said I was born in Seattle. It's like, I mean, it's America. People aren't about getting it right. They're just going to say I was born in Seattle. And I had people say that growing up. Oh, you're just born here. No, but we'll just make it easier. So that's why I, in previous videos, uh, and I might revert to going back to saying born in Seattle. Uh, but if people are accepting enough of reality, maybe I will continue saying born in Norway. Point being, Pacific Northwest in the Northwest. So um, typically Washington State, Oregon, Hawaii, and Alaska get grouped together. This is an Alaskan lady. I'm a Washingtonian lady. So this is more regional pride. I got her biography. Okay, that's bragging. <laughs> that's not a humble brag. That's that, that's a brag. It does not mean other people will not write biographies, right? But I am their biographers, and there's a difference. Um. Okay, so those are the, were the ones that I said pick me to. The biggest surprise, and I was just like so floored by this because she is like 
if I have a favorite actress, it's her. It's Zoe Saldana, um, or Saldana, and, um, however you want to pronounce it. And she came out, my sister had, she was like the cult, uh, pathological dogma pusher that's kind of mainstream in America these days. So she liked bring it on, sex in the city, center stage, you know, all that stuff. So I had watched these movies and stuff that I didn't want to watch. Still don't. Um, she was in center stage. She was the only person, the only character I liked in center stage. And so this movie that my sister brought along because she really liked these bad movies, I was like, I really like her. I like, I want to be like her. Um, and not, not the, just the character, but like, I want to be like the actress. She's beautiful. Um, so needless to say, it was like, there's like, not a Hollywood crush, but like, kind, like a, I just want to see her in more things. Or she, it's, it's, it's like, she's amazing at her career and her beauty as a human being shines through when she's center stage. <laughs> the name of the movie is Center Stage. It came out when I was like nine years old, plus or minus a year or two. So she's been, she's been in my life for, I'm 29, a little over 29, so like two decades. I've been aware of her and watching her. She, if you don't know her, maybe you've heard of like Star Trek or Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, she's a main character in both of those series, franchises. So, yeah. It's good to know what she played. If one's a fan and this name is not recognizable, then are you really paying attention? Are you really a fan? That kind of thing. Um, again, I'm on her side in all this. Uh, this is so. This is the like English spelling. Um, the til this is called a tilde. The thing over the N here, and it's the letter is in sp the Spanish language. There's N and N Y, and so this is like. Saldana versus Saldana. Saldana, Saldana. So I got her biography, which is like, ah! and a lot of people have written about her. So it's like unique amongst these because it's a super competitive space. This is Hollywood. This is some of the biggest and most respected franchises in my lifetime. And I got her. So it's going to be, and people have already written about her. So, um, I got my work cut out for me. Again, with getting a bunch of biog <laughs> biographies. Good luck on the timeline there, Tannis. Talking to myself like, yeah. And then in addition, so th that's including uh, Emma McKeon, uh, which I didn't put on a piece of paper here because I already addressed in the past video. Who even called me after the video was published? Ah. So I'm still, I'm still Star Trek by all these wonderful ladies. Um, I am in the talks for one more. Natalie Hines, who is she? She is a phenomenal swimmer. She swims butterfly and freestyle events, sprint. So she specializes in like the 50 yard, 50 meter freestyle and butterfly and the 100 yard, meter and yard butterfly and freestyle. Um, she, so I feel, I love this lady. Um, and like, there's this, I really wanted to make her Wikipedia page, like, cause, I found her and she didn't have a Wikipedia page and I was like, she should have a Wikipedia page. And then she got like the standard treatment of she made it qualified for the Olympic Games and she got a Wikipedia page, but I was like, oh, I really wanted the Wikipedia page. So I was like, I have an opportunity to get the book, <clears throat> the biography, be your biographer. She's an interesting case of, there's a swimmer named Caleb Dressel and Caleb Dressel, it's well known. So like people said he cheated on his wife. His wife's name is Megan Dressel. People say he cheated on his wife with Maggie Musselman or something like that. He's a water polo player. They did not cheat on each other. He has an open relationship with his wife, Megan Dressel. And Natalie Hines is his latest lady. Um, and so they swim together. They train together. He can put a lot of pressure on her for like sexual favors and stuff like that though. So this is kind of like, it's an interracial couple. She's African-American. He's white as plain bread. Um, and so it's an interesting case of, like, he, like, kind of being, there's been, uh, he might, may have physically assaulted her at least once, um, that kind of stuff without her consent. He tries to pressure 
So he and her, they train together daily, multiple times a day. Um, and, uh, it, he's been trying to pressure her of late to do a threesome with their coach, Anthony Nesty. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a big hot mess. And then, you know, she's African American and Caleb Dressel's white bread and his wife, Megan Dressel's a racist white bread. And so she gets really jealous of Natalie Hines, even though she agreed to the open relationship in the first place. So I don't want to write about a book about <laughs> Natalie Hines, not Natalie Hines' open or she's not in an open relationship he is um yeah so I'm and he's at least number two in line right he's had Maggie Musselman or whatever her name was and now it's Natalie Hines so uh, just maybe part of his diversity profile uh it's, he treats her rather poorly so this is like a fighting again back against racist white people and especially racist white women because I hate them they and it's like the same with in every single race. There's like, not everybody is racist. It's a pocket of bad apples in every race that propagates racism that makes everybody else pissed off. And I have encountered that in every race. Um, so let's get her a book about her because she's amazing all on her own. So, yeah. But this is, so again, this one's in the talks. So those, that's my happy news, really happy news. And like, potentially like, if we get this one, like potentially freedom happy news. So that's like really cool. So, and if and if they end up getting married or something, like they do, they do really love each other and they just got issues and stuff like that, we'll go that way too. It's about her, okay, it's about her. Yeah, so that's more happy news. 